Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Trickett, and yes, this is another amazing edition, guys, of Wake Up With Trickett, and it is Sunday morning, guys, and I'm out back hanging out with nature and just, you know, meditating, going over my thoughts, talking to my higher self, you know, it's Sunday, just, just getting the thoughts together, guys, <laughs> So I hope all of you are doing well this Sunday, and um, <clears throat> thank you for rocking out with me, guys. If you're new, what's up? I'm Trickett, <laughs> and if you are returning, hey, it's always glad to have returning people that's bringing that good energy, right? And if you're broken, I'm going to get you fixed anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I just wanted to say... Um, I know sometimes we get like overwhelmed with stuff. I know sometimes we get down in the slumps, you know, so to speak. And that's normal. I get it. Trust me. I don't care how strong you are. You have those moments, right? But the difference is, guys, is that for one person, it's just a moment. They're like, okay, whatever I'm going through, I feel it. Slow vibration, obviously, because it gets you feeling down, right? And so you're just like, you know, you give some time to that, that state because you're still in this human physical body, right? But then again, you also know that you can also change that state. Now, it doesn't always mean that it's so, you know, it's going to feel good doing it or it's easy to do it. And obviously, the more and more you do something, it gets easier to do it. But um, you know that you can change that state, though. You still know that you can change it, even if it takes work. You still know that, yes, I can change that state, this state that I'm in, if it's a low vibing state. And you know, there's different ways, many different ways to do it. First of all, you can change it by your thoughts. When they're telling you it's not going to happen, when it's telling you it's not going to work, when you have the fear rise up, false evidence appearing real, I can't say it enough. We wear the energies we want to embody every morning, every day, when we start our day. That's what you call setting your intentions. And so when you set your intentions, you're setting it with what energy are you putting on today, regardless of what you look like. Haven't you heard that saying that, you know, pretty face, pretty girl, but she's ugly inside? Looks like a great guy, but he's a devil. I mean, there's deception all the time, right? So, it all depends what what energy you want to embody. And then that's one you rock. But I want you to know you can always change that energy. Like, you change your clothes in the 3D. You can also change your energy. That's why energy is so important to me. Because once you figure it out... You, it's, you just become on higher levels. It's just, there ain't no other way to get around it, okay? It just, there's no other way of getting around it. When you start to figure out energy, how to manipulate it for the good, obviously, you'll start to see changes that you've never seen in your life before. And then you'll trip that it was you that did it. You know, that higher self in you, God in you, your God power. You, you, you figure out how to activate it outside of the religious sector that doesn't work for hardly anybody. They suffer the entire time they're in there. For the most part, their life really doesn't change extraordinary for the most part. And that's just because they don't know how to manipulate that energy. They don't know how to change the energy. And so like I'm saying, guys, you know, you don't have to stay in these low vibing states. We all get there. I get hit. I get hit all the time. You know, but because I get hit all the time, I'm always, I'm always ready. You know what I'm saying? If you get ready, 
if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So I'm always ready because, you know, it's just a part of the game. It's, it is what it is. It's a part of the game. You got to have the opposition, right? They have to exist. They can't, they cannot be here and not be being used. You know what I'm saying? It's like when people say, quote unquote, the devil. If he doesn't have nobody that's allowing to use him, and then what good is the devil, right? <laughs> so you got to have volunteers, right? <laughs> Even for the dumb stuff, because that's just the way the game is played out. You know, we signed up for this. Some people signed up to be a karmic. Some people signed up to just do ratchet stuff, and then they came here and embodied this body, and they're, they're living it out. <laughs> And it is what it is, guys, but when it comes to you, my collective, this body right here, you guys don't have to stay in any low vibing state. And just like, you know, if you were in a low vibing state, you can change it like you change clothes, like you change shoes, like you change partners. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can, when you get tired of it or when you don't want it no more, you just... You're like, let me get out of this. It's, I had a jacket on. It was cold. Now, you know, had you feeling one type of way. But now, you know, it's all sunny and bright and looking all beautiful. You know, the sun is shining. The sun gives life to everything. Nothing grows without the sun. That's why I'm the sun. I'm a Leo. I'm the sun. <laughs> I'm always happy. I'm always sharing my good energy to uplift all you guys or to just let it just blend with you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only going to take us higher. <laughs> Real talk. You know, I mean, the sun makes everybody feel better. You know, it makes everybody feel better when the sun comes out, doesn't it? Of course it does. So you can embody that energy of the sun. To where, you know, you're always in a good mood. You're always feeling, you know, on the up and up for the most part. And even when things do hit you, yeah, you get hit. You fall down. But, you know, like the song says, you fall down, but you get up. And it doesn't take forever to get up. I'm not talking about people that, you know, they, they're just going to get up out of default because they've just been there so long laying down. No, I'm talking about those that actually value their life know their self-worth even if they don't know their purpose yet they know their self-worth and and they're not going to allow their self to stay in that low vibing energy you know what i'm saying so they're going to change that change that energy by either thinking they're going to start thinking different every time those thoughts come in of whatever it is they're going to say no or yes to it you know whatever it's going to suit them they're going to push it out. They're going to always do what it takes to push it out. Um, they're going to speak different. They're going to start whatever words that, you know, you were using or they were using or I was using that wasn't serving us. We're going to switch that up. Why? Because words have power and words are energy. And when you understand energy like I do, and then you understand all of these things have an effect. All of them do. And so when you know the right combination, so to speak, the right recipe, when you know the right recipe, how to place the energies the way they need to be placed, you know, your mental, your verbal, your your belief your emotions and you got them lined up or they're all starting to line up and then you're going to see amazing things start to happen in your life i don't care what anyone says you're going to see amazing things start to happen in your life and 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 that's just fact that's just fact you know what i'm saying there is universal laws you know what you put out you get back if you put out a little, you get back a little. If you put out a lot, you get back a lot. God loves a cheerful giver. So, um, you don't have to stay, or we don't have to stay, guys. And these low vibing energies, when this happens to us, 
when we feel like this. And then you got to also think about this. What has us in these low vibing energies when they come? Let's be honest. I'm going to hit you with some real talk because you know it's me. When it actually happens, for a lot of us, for a lot of people out there, when those low vibing energies hit you, it's due to your poor decisions. Come on, don't fight it. Be honest. Be honest. I ain't going to tell nobody. <laughs> Just be honest. See, if you're, if you're true to yourself, and then you can start you can start growing. You can start getting progress and moving forward. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Are you making poor choices? Or are your choices right? <laughs> you know, are you circling back to people you shouldn't circle back to? Are you going back to places you shouldn't go back to? Are you going back to conversations you shouldn't go back to? Are you entertaining karmics, low vibrational people that you shouldn't and you're expecting a positive outcome or great results by doing it opposite or by going backwards, but you want forward results? That's crazy. You know, guys, I don't want to call anyone crazy because I love you guys, right? I love everyone. But I am going to call the energies that people embody crazy because I know energy. So the energy that they decided to wear and embody, that's crazy to have that type of thinking. That's crazy. I don't even know a psychiatrist can help you on that. That's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's, that's somebody saying, you know what? If I do the opposite, if I ignore my intuition, if I ignore my inner voice, if I, if I just, if I look back on whatever it may be, and I try picking it up and running with it backwards, because you're not going to be running forwards because you look back. So you go back to get the results that you had before, for the most part. And then you're in the same karmic cesspool, playing with yourself like a toy, trying to believe this illusion that this is also gonna, this is gonna throw you or catapult you in a forward motion to where you're going to get positive results by doing backward things. It just doesn't work, guys. And if any of you are doing this, and then you're going to you're gonna be in that negative karma. You're going to be in that negative, not even karma. I don't even want to get on that. You're going to be in that negative energy. You're going to be on that negative in that negative energy. It's like you went in the closet and you were like, you know what? I want to put on the energy of what does not serve me today. And that part of your closet is slam packed with clothes because you're always finding some reason to embody that energy. Oh, what doesn't serve me today? Hmm. What will backfire on me down the line? What's not going to work for me? What is going to give me temporary joy, but then it's going to cause me heartache again? or pain and suffering again. What can I wear to show myself that I don't value myself? What can I put on? And it doesn't matter what it looks like because it's the energy. So you can have on the latest fashion, whatever you figure the latest fashion is, right? But that means nothing. That's 3D people that see that. They're blind anyway. I'm talking for the people that can see the, from the third eye. You know that they're just embodying energy. Because you can have somebody in designer clothes and be as humble as all get out. Hey, whoa. Hey, bro, what's up? Or, hey, girl, what's going on? And, and be all good. Just Gucci, good energy. 
They're the sun. They're bringing that 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 sun energy. That Leo baby. <laughs> Uh, and that's not coffee, co- cocky. That's just being confident. And when people don't know what confidence is, unfortunately, they get it. Um, they get it confused with cocky. Okay, that was just a quick side note. And basically, that's also based off of the people once again of their choices that they've chose. And unfortunately, because they pick bad, and then when they come against a real one or across a real one, they don't. They don't know because they're trying to treat a real one like a fake one so it's like you got a real diamond and then you got a fake secube, uh, cubic, cubic zirconia diamond which is fake but you're trying to treat the real diamond like it has no value like the cubic because that's what you've been used to ah uh, no way which is a quick side note again guys because all these things bring our negative energy and the negative energy is what affects us one way or another it affects you to what type of music you want to listen to based off of what energy you decided to wear today. Sad music, upbeat music, good mood, bad mood. You're an I just don't care mood. I mean, what are you wearing? And another thing, guys, too, um, that can also mess with your energy um, is for the people. Now, this is only going to be for like a chosen few, but if you're on my channel, you should know about this already. And if not, you know, hey, you're going to find out. But um, if you're like on this twin flame journey, say, you know, you're twin, you know what I'm saying? Or you're on this, you know, you know, a soulmate or whatever, because you got plenty of soulmates. I mean, they're all good, but you got plenty of them. But you only got one twin. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like your cream of the crop, boss, boss, boss status. If they're in the upright, if not, and then that's garbage too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not the person, the energy that they, with their free will, have decided to embody is garbage. So that's just the value that they're rocking until they want to go in the closet and just switch it up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so anyway, guys, um, if you're on this twin flame or soulmate journey or whatever, you know, you're out there looking, but you don't want 3D. You don't want what everybody else gets. And they're like, yeah, bro, I got this. And they feel like they did all that. And you're just like, oh, gosh, man, please, God, send me some real people. You know what I mean? Like, like, man, like this is just so dinosaur. You know, like this is like just so primitive. This is just like... Like, that's still getting you where you... Okay, I get it. Because that's the energy that they wore. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, anyway, guys. <laughs> um, where was I? Look, it doesn't matter. It's all energy. The energy, guys, of what you put on, which is your intentions, is what you're going to become for that day. For that week, for that month, for that years, for years to come. What they'll remember you by when they feel dirt over you. What they'll know you by while you're here. But you can always change. Some people take a long time to change and they only get to live in good energy just for a couple of short years before they're already done. But at least they got a little taste of it. 24 months, 36 months before they checked out. Because they gave all their time into just rocking negative energy. Let me put this on today. Let me wear this. I could wear this, but with my free will, I'm going to choose to do this. And I'm telling you guys, so many of us make mistakes when we circle back. When If the job didn't work, it didn't work for a reason. If the relationship continues to be garbage... And you keep circling back. Okay, you don't value yourself. Okay, that's fine. Maybe you grew up in a home, in a home where people didn't value you. Nobody thought you were worth anything. So you just, you wear that low vibrational energy when you go out. And you're just like, I want to just keep going back to what doesn't serve me. Because I don't like myself. I don't value myself. I have low self-esteem. So when people treat me like dirt, abuse me, cheat on me, I just feel that's what I deserve. 
That's an energy, guys. That's an energy. It's a demonic energy. It's not the devil. It's a demonic energy. It's an evil energy, yeah. But it's an energy that they put on. Could have came from, like I said, could, it could have came from, you know, your upbringing. I don't know. You only you know your story. But even if it did, it doesn't mean you have to stay like that. Because that's still an energy. People have been raped, molested, all kinds of things. I mean, crazy trauma and drama has happened to them. And they have pulled out of it and successful and found love and in great relationships. And it works. But right now, you have people going, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, really, really. No, that's not me. I get it. I hear you loud and clear. I'm intuitive. I can reach your energy. I get it. And as long as you have that belief system, once again, that's also going to keep you at a low vibration. You got to watch your thoughts. Because, see, that's a thought, which is energy. So you're like... It's like ingredients to a pie. You're like, okay, I'm thinking negative, so let me sprinkle a little bit of that in my cake I'm making. A little negative thinking. And then your emotions are feeling some type of way. So you're like, well, let me sprinkle a little. My emotions are feeling some type of way in the negative. And then you get that with, let me, um, let me start looking at the past that didn't serve me, but in my dysfunctional thinking, I think now that it may start to serve me. And so you sprinkle a little bit of that in there, of memory. So you got memory, you got your thinking, you got your emotions, you got all this in your cake with no positivity. But what you are expecting is that, well, I am going to rock my little fake smile, which is the cream, the frosting that you put over your cake. And you are thinking in your delusional state by making all these wrong decisions with all these wrong energies you've embodied, placed in this cake like ingredients, you feel now that that by putting the frosting, which is this fake smile you wear, the mask that you wear in front of other broken people that you may want to impress or don't want them to know that you're just as broken as they are, when you put this frosting on, you think it's going to make everything taste great. That's the, that's the illusion, guys. That's craziness, right? But that's the energy. All these energies have been created by the Most High. And we have free will to jump in and out of anyone we want. Poverty, wealth, health, sickness, wellness, beauty, whatever. Energy, energetic. Live for a long time, so have all kinds of energy. Be rocking and rolling around like, like, like people start looking at you like this ain't even normal. No, you just tapped into energy that they don't know how to tap into. How many people say I'm getting old? That's an energy. Look at them. They start to get old. Walk old. Get tired. When they get up, they start to go, uh, yeah, let me get up. Uh. <laughs> Can't knock it. They've been programmed. Programmed. How old are you? Oh, I'm getting older. Well, you know, it ain't the way I, I ain't moving the way I used to be. Well, you know, the body's breaking down. <laughs> Look at all that negative energy that God has created, but with their free will, they have choose to activate it through many different ways. Through speaking, through thinking about it, through belief, because belief is everything. So when you put all those pieces in the cake, all your negative, the negativity, from your talking, your thinking, your emotions, and then you throw that belief on it and slap that little frosting with that little fake mask you wear? Bro, sis, it is what it is. <laughs> you can expect, you can expect all kinds of low vibrational stuff coming your way. 
Why? Because your intentions you did not as you didn't set to have anything positive to come to you. With your intentions, you did not wear or choose to put on an energetic energy that would give you value, that would put you in a state of mind that would be beneficial to you. You didn't choose to do that. Oh, I thought I'd turn off my notifications. Oh, well. <laughs> but you didn't choose to do that. And it's going to hurt us every time we don't. And every time we choose, for the most part, to make those bad decisions, we're always going to... And look, we understand we have to make mistakes, right? It's the difference making mistake, making mistakes and just doing something because you're used to the abuse, because you're used to the negative feel of it, because this is normal now. Your, 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 your um, dysfunctional lifestyle has become normal. So even though it doesn't serve you, it's normal, it's familiar, it's comfortable. You're used to being treated like garbage, trash. You're used to being lied to. You're used to never getting totally fulfillment. Because you always cheat yourself by lying to yourself. And then you bring disbelief and negative talk, thought, thought and talk in that breathes negative emotions, that has you in a low vibrational state all day, all week, all month, all year. You're popping pills, you're drinking, you're doing whatever, smoking, whatever, and it ain't working. Just temporarily. Because that energy that God's created, that you have the free will to access, good or evil, you chose to dab in the negative low vibrational state, if it was that easy to just pop a pill and get rid of it, and then trust me, dude, the world would have just popped a pill and get and got rid of it. No, it's called addiction. They get hooked. They get addicted because they can't get rid of it. And they got it while trying to get rid of it. They get addicted to another low vibrational energy. Now they're under pills or they're alcoholics or whatever addictions that they decided to wear because they're already diving. They're already drowning, right? You're like, I'm already falling, right? No parachute. I'm already gonna hit the ground already. And even though you're falling from the plane for no parachute, don't you know, guys, that at any time you can still, just like that, switch it up and still embody a different energy and instantly be on some matrix type stuff where you'll stop yourself from falling, you'll never hit the ground. I don't hit the ground. But I'm saying for those who do, I'm trying to give you the wisdom and knowledge and the recipe, which is golden. This is what's priceless. This is what everybody wants. How does he do it? This is what everybody wants, right? How is he able to do all the things he can do? How does he do it? It's energy and how you place your energy like bacon and cake, you put the right energies and mix them with the right energies, you get the right desired result. And I know how to mix all the energies together to get whatever I want. And I'm trying to show this or share this with you guys today, this Sunday, because I know a lot of you guys are struggling. And I know a lot of people are making bad decisions that are keeping them stuck. And then they just get whipped again. And then they just wait a little while and then they go right back and they do the same thing again. Dysfunctional. What use is that person in anybody's life? Really? I mean, they're no they're not they're not even no good to themselves thinking like that. So I'm just saying, guys. If you get in them low vibrational states, you can get out of it. If you feel you're falling out the plane, you're about to hit the ground, you will. If you don't change the energy, splat, you will. Maybe a heart attack, might be high blood pressure, maybe 
a stroke, maybe migraines. But when that splat hits because you didn't decide to switch that energy when you were falling out that plane due to your poor decisions that you know by now that, hey, okay, this is no longer a mistake. This is just me being retarded because I'm embodying that energy. No disrespect to anyone in the mental you know, that has real mental issues like that. Much love and respect to them. But you guys know how I'm using this word. When somebody in their right frame of mind chooses to embody an energy of someone that's not in their right frame of mind, that's not right. <clears throat> that's not right, guys. So... I had mentioned it, and I got off of it, and then Spirit brought it right back to me right now, so I'm going to let you guys know what's up. Anybody on these Twin Flames journeys, Soulmate journey, guys, anyone on it, these journeys, mostly that Twin Flame journey, if you're dealing with somebody that's not upright, I'm telling you guys right now, it's my opinion, and I think my opinion like Paul in the Bible speaks, he, he, he spoke like his opinion was, he, he felt it was very valid. Like he was justified to speak the way he speaks. So I feel that way. So I'm going to say, to me, it's not worth it. It's not worth your energy being drained, being connected to any energy. I don't care who it is. That is not giving you that good energy back. Cut that job. Cut that job. People say you can. If it's a twin, you can't. Man, please, they don't have my energy. They don't know energy like I know energy. They can't work it like I can work it. I hear all of that. But until you step into my realm, because when I look around, I don't see nobody. So you're not there. So when you get there, and then we can talk. But until then, yes, you can cut anyone. Cut them out of your life only if they're not serving you. Only if they're not serving you because they're doing you an injustice with their selfishness. So you have to detox. You have to detox you have to detox from um, from from this energy. I'm telling you guys, sometimes you just have to detox and say, you know what? No more tarot. No no more no more um, any of just anything that has you connected to hearing about your twin or maybe a soulmate or just maybe a partner you're trying to connect to or just love out there in general, give it a break. Detox from it all. Because people that are not in the upright will drain you. And you don't want to be connected to these type of people. That's why, once again, I protect my energy. Because my energy is... <laughs> It's priceless. Maybe it's yours. Maybe at this point in your life, you have no idea what yours is. So, you know, you just allow everybody to take it, steal it, use it. <laughs> but hopefully you'll find out that it's more valuable than what you're allowing it to be treated as. <clears throat> and based off of the body, the energy you embody, once again, that's how most likely you're going to be treated because those are the people that you're going to attract. So all you guys that are on this journey, if you have someone in the upright, that means you're in the right frame of mind. They're not making poor decisions. They're not sending you negative energy because they feel you. You feel them. You know, you guys are like empaths. Like I'm an empath. I feel, any, I feel everybody's energy. I can feel what you feel. I don't have to ask you. I don't, I, I, I just, I don't. But I learn to protect my energy because I don't want to feel everybody's energy because I have found out being an empath, most people don't feel good.
And I just don't like to feel that all the time. Unless I have to feel it because I'm about to help them. Because we're about to change this energy, go in this closet and switch it up. And, 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 and when they leave the sun, they're going to feel much better because my energy's magically magnetic. You know what I'm saying? And so is yours when you embody that energy. You become anything. Look, guys, let me tell you how beautiful this energy is, how beautiful God is, universe, source, Jesus, who your higher source is, right? God is so good to us that he made good and bad energies, right? I mean, he made them by the, whoo. There's a crazy ratchet energy out there. And there's this beautiful loving energy out there too, right? And he says, as a man thinks, let it be done unto him. And then the Bible, in the Bible, he says, as a man believes, no, no, he says, a man, as a man believes, let it be done unto him. God didn't even say it had to be good or bad. That's why you can manifest good or evil. He said, look, let me, kids, children, <laughs> let me tell you how easy I made this for you. Whatever you really truly believe, embody that energy, and I will move all of heaven to have you become it. The problem is we don't believe it. Believe it for a day, for an hour, for two weeks, and then you're back to making the poor choices again. Doubt. Your biggest enemy. Self-doubt. You. The doubt that lives in you. When you look in the mirror, you start to doubt yourself. I can't do it. I can't do it. Fear comes. And then when doubt sees that it got you on the run, it causes partner fear. Hey, we got her going or we got him going. And then fear jumps in. Oh, uh, what's up? You scared too, baby. You just ain't doubting it. You're all so fearful, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Now you're doubtful and fearful, right? You're rocking these energies. Got your, your nerves just all twisted, right? And this is what, you know, and then you got pride. They're like, hey, pride, come on, man. We got, the, we got this person on one. And then you're like, but you have to put this energy on because nobody can put it on you. So even the AKA devil can only offer you the energy, but he can't put it on you. You still with your own free will, you have to do it to yourself. <laughs> As bad as it, must, as, as, as it may sound, you have to do it to yourself. You have to F yourself. You have to sabotage yourself. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and you have to see doubt, who brought fear, who now call pride. And you know what pride does, stops you from everything. Doubt and fear just gets you warmed up. But pride? Oh, pride says, oh, I can do it my way, the way that hasn't been working. <laughs> pride? Pride says, well, um, um, I'm going to listen to fear. What is fear telling you? Don't do it. So I'm not going to do it now. Why aren't you going to do it? Because doubt told me, when I was talking to fear, doubt told me, I don't think it's going to work. It's probably never going to work out for you. And now I'm defeated. You know what that looks like? That's the person jumping out the plane. That at any time while they were falling, they could have changed their energy at any time. But they chose to commit self-suicide, self-sabotage, and hit the ground and splat. And when they splat, it was a heart attack. It was diabetes, it was some type of illness, it was a stroke, it was insomnia, no sleep. It was repercussions in a negative way because God said, with all the energy that I gave to you freely, see, you didn't have to be rich, everyone in the spirit is equal. Everyone in the spirit. 
has the equal rights to get and do what they want to do. But you got to put in the work, even in the spiritual realm. And most people don't want to put in the work in the 3D realm. So you know they're not going to put the work in, in, in the spiritual realm. That's why they're weak. And then they just embody that suit of weakness and they settle. Have you, ever, have you ever seen somebody settle for something? Have you ever seen somebody happy that settled? Like, this isn't really what I wanted, but this is going to make everybody happy, or, or I just got tired of waiting, or whatever energy, pitiful energy, that person decided to put on to get them talking like that to only create more energy, right? That's all negative energy. So you're just like, let me throw this in the cake. Let me throw this in the cake. Oh, it's never going to happen. Oh, man, it's, I'm always getting burned. Oh, and you know, you're pretending like you don't know why. Poor decisions. For the most part, guys, I always say poor decisions because it is poor decisions. That's why you got to detox from the twin flame. Upright? Hey, don't detox. Get that. Because that means that person is going to be for you and you're going to be for them. And they're not going to have you waiting. You're not going to have them waiting. And it's going to be all good. But anybody trying to play you, like this is just how it is. It's kind of journey it is. Man, I'm not, I'm not with this king. Really? <laughs> Let me order a cocktail with my legs crossed while I view this from a bird's eye view. Because <laughs> that ain't happening. If you want to embody that energy to get played like that, to, to it's not easy, and then go for it. Because that's not what the Bible says. See, I believe God. And I'm not even religious. But I believe God. And if God tells me, whatever you think you will become, whatever you think let it be done unto him. He didn't even say, let me see if I agree with it. He didn't even say it has to match up with my will. He didn't, he know why? Because his will is free will. He said, he knows he created good and evil. He thought he created the evil and he wasn't going to allow nobody to manifest it. Come on guys, man. You guys are way smarter than that. Come on, bros and broettes. You guys are way smarter than that, bro. <laughs> you already know that's not happening. If he created it, it's because he's gone. He's gonna let you. He's gonna let somebody. Um, he's gonna let somebody embody it, so they can play out the part that they signed up for before they embodied this body, and, and let the games begin. That's why life is a game, the game of life. My dad would always say, "Life is like a book. Those who learn to read it will do well." But those that don't will struggle and suffer far more, way far more than those that knew how to read it and understood it. What does the Bible say? With all of your wisdom, with all the knowledge and wisdom that I'm going to that I give you, make sure you get what? Understanding. He said, make sure you get the understanding because if you get the wisdom and the, all this and you don't understand it, and then what good is it to you? Now you're misusing power because you don't understand, or maybe you do understand and you choose to take something good and use it for evil. Well, you get thrown an illusion. You're like, it's working because God says, I will allow it to. And then I'm going to send it back. And God says, it's going to be karma on you. So I'm going to let you have fun for a season in sin. Sin is just like, you know, living low vibration, basically. It's like religious talk, but basically all it means is people that live low vibration. So God is like, I'll, I'll allow you to live low vibration because this is all a part of the plan. It's all a part of the scheme of things. Like I said, you could have signed up to be a karmic, to be low vibration, to be a ratchet person. And that's why that's what you are now. It is what it is. But you never know down the line if you had signed up to, 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 to change your ways and become an upright person. So because you don't know that, you always should strive for that by embodying better energies. To where? So you can heal. 
so you can be a better a better you, and a better you is a better experience for anybody that comes in front of you. You become the sun. Who doesn't want to be the sun, right? You become the sun. Magically magnetic. Everybody that comes in your presence. They remember you when you leave. They feel you when you're there. And anyone that's down, you, they start speaking to you, you uplift them. That's power. That's me. That's you when you walk in that energy. What's your belief system like, guys? What do you believe in? Because that's a very powerful energy. Why? Because that is the key. Belief. That's the key that opens up all of your heart's desires. What's your belief? Most people believe everybody's dying and, you know, and everybody's getting gouged. And, and that's a lot of people's belief. That's the energy they put on. And, they're, and they want you to believe it. Look, it is. Don't you see the prices? Look, they really are. I mean, they are so adamant to get you to see things their negative way. That they see things that when you look at them, they're not happy. It doesn't look like it serves them. They don't look like a person that you would like to become. But yet and still, they're working overtime to get you to believe what they believe. Because they believe in the negative low vibrational state. Because they don't believe what I speak will come to pass. Yes, I'll have to have patience because it has to come to fruition only because I've been living in a low vibrational state so long. I have to build my vibration up to that level and then my belief up to that level for a long enough time for God to say, I believe you're, you ain't faking this time. You're, you're actually real about it. I've tested you and I've seen you, you've, you've still been rolling upright, not perfect, but not going back either. And so you know what? I'm going to start blessing you. And so God, universe, Jesus, whoever your higher power is, starts to send you blessings as a way of saying, I'm proud of you. Just like if you had the money and your kids were doing well in school, but at first they were making bad grades. And now, you know, they're making from D's, they went to A's. You're going to be so proud of them, right? You're going to be so proud of them, right? Of course you are. And so, because you're going to be so proud of them, um, well, thank you for that cash app that came through. That's what's up. See, guys, when you put out good things, good things always come back. Look at that. That's what's up. <laughs> so, anyway, guys. Um, well, that kind of threw me off <laughs> right there. I wasn't expecting that. But, see, I'm always expecting just to put out love with nothing coming back. I don't expect because I know a lot of people are broken. So when I do good or I feed, I feed a lot of people in secret. I take care of a lot of people because I just, that's my heart, that's what I do. And so, you know, some people thank you. Some people don't say thank you. Some people will say thank you for the person that didn't say thank you. I get that a lot. Did they say anything? No, that's all good. Oh, I'm so sorry they didn't. Let me say thank you for them. I'm cool with all that, you know, because look, man, I don't, I'm not, I'm thick skinned it. Like that doesn't bother me. You can't be in the charitable business. You can't be in the philanthropist energy and then get butt hurt when people don't say thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like you're doing it for a higher cause. You know, your calling is higher than that. If they say it, that's great. You know, they embodied that energy and they showed that love back. But if they don't say it, don't get butt hurt because you're doing it for a higher cause. You know, when you feed them, you feed God. In the Bible, anyway, God says, whatever you do to anyone, you've done it to me, good or bad. So when you lied to someone, God said, you really lied to me. This is Bible for those that believe the Bible. I'm not religious, but I'm well hearsed on everything because I'm out here for reals. So this is what he says. So I'm just saying. <laughs> what energy are you guys embodying today, guys? Who do you want to be? You have a God. You have a universe that says, as a man believes, 
so is he. As a man believes, so is he. Let me say that again. As a man believes, so is he. So you see how strong belief is? It's the key to your destiny. It's the key to your future. It's the key to your desires. So what do you believe? As a man believes. You notice God didn't ask you for no money? You notice you didn't have to go to college? Notice you didn't have to go to school? Notice you didn't have to be paid? Notice you didn't have to go with karmics? Notice you didn't have to fall in low vibrational states and then stay there? Like that's just become the norm? You notice that? God's like, look, man, I love you so much. All you have to do is believe it. And then allow me to move all of heaven and earth to bring that desire to your fruition. I've done it so many times. He has done it for me so many times. Proof. I'm proof. I'm living proof. If anybody's been watching me, I'm living proof. So why would he just do it for me and not for you? It's just my belief is stronger. That's all. And that's because... Well, I'm daily on this. This is a lifestyle for me. It's not a fad. It's not, dude, I just meditate, bro. I just got into it. It's pretty cool, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's cool if you stick with it because then it's going to make you, you know, off the chain. You're going to be empowered and you're going to start finding out what kind of gifts you got, which most people don't know. They'll live and die without ever knowing. So, um... Ah, that's it on that, guys. So, you know, I'm just out here talking. Thought I'd get on here and do a little podcast real quick and just talk to you guys about raising your energy. And it was because my energy was dropping. But I know minds get like that because I'm getting hit from a million people. And, you know, not literally because I'm not speaking that into existence because I got a lot of loving people that got my back. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, in the spiritual realm. So, I'm just saying, I put it out there because I get hit and I get drained. Or I feel the drain trying to come on, but then I know how to stop it. I know how to push that energy off of me. Get off of me. You're too weak. I'll have you go broke spending money going to practitioners on me. You'll go broke. <laughs> And then you and him will get the repercussions of karma that apparently, I don't know, these people that do wrong, somehow, I guess it's the energy. So once again, that's why I call it retarded, right? Because they don't believe in karma. So they believe I can cast spells, even love spells. You would think, oh, that spells innocent, trick it. It's just me, you know, I like this person. But then you're like, okay, let me tell you what a love spell does. A love spell, if it's done correctly by someone of power, a love spell will block everybody that's trying to get with that person. It will block them. Because that energy, once again, you know how to mix the right recipe. And you've intruded on that person's free will. And that person will always wonder, why is nothing ever working? Why every time I get in a relationship, it never lasts. It never works. They always cheat. They always do me wrong. They blah, 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 blah. There's a 3D world, which I'm just in because I have to be in because I'm in this suit. But then the Bible says, you're in this world, but not of that world, but not of this world. You're in the world, but not of the world. Once again, not religious. I'm just quoting higher self. I'm just quoting God, universe, source. You're in the world, but he said, but be of not the world. You don't think like them. Karmic low vibrational, just because you're in that suit and I got you on that planet. You know who you are. You know you're gods. You know you could speak things into existence. You know as a man thinks, you will become that. You know, whatever you believe, whatever you it is, God says, let it be done unto him. I don't like this group of people. God said, let it be done unto them. Let them think like that. But then they reap the karma of thinking like that. Unhappiness, their circle will be very small. They'll never know true love because God said God is love. And obviously, we all know that's not love. <laughs> But then you can embody an energy that 
you can say, well, I'm going to call it love. It's going to be called love to me. <laughs> now, that's craziness, but we all know that's called craziness, right? But people can embody it. God made these energies for a reason, people. He made it for a reason because when it was time for people to take the stage, because this is just one big play, like Neville Goddard says, it's just one big stage. So when it's time for you to take the stage and you embody your energy and you start to live out your life and your journey here on this planet, you're the actor. And you might become multiple people, shape shifting into all kinds of different characters, depending on what your journey's like. You might end up being somebody extraordinary. You might end up dying ratchet. Low vibrational, karmic. Very little to no good to say about you when you passed away. Didn't really touch nobody's lives. Didn't really do anything in the world. Oh, thank you. <laughs> It's a good day, guys. <laughs> Somebody's thinking about tricking. That'll work. That'll work. I'm always thinking about you guys. I always putting out love and light. Hey, guys. But anyway, embody the energy that's going to serve you. Embody the energy that's going to empower you. Embody the energy that's going to make you feel good. And if you think going back to anything, no matter what it is, place, person, thing, wherever, doesn't matter, it's going to give you that future positive results by running backwards you're fooling yourself it's not going to happen you're in an illusion an illusion is just going to waste your time because you're just spinning on that merry-go-round you're at the circus you got to get off the merry-go-round as long as you guys stay on the merry-go-round you're going to embody all kinds of energies you got to get off the merry-go-round guys get 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 that, that merry go round. Go, what is it? Goes around in a circle. You hold on. Where's that at? The circus. Where's that at? The carnival. Basically, where where clowns are at. No disrespect to the actual circus or carnival. This is all metaphorically speaking. I don't have time for karmics. If a karmic's in my vicinity, I'm gonna use them before they use me because I can read them every step of the way with a smile so they'll never know I'm reading them because that's how smooth I am. <laughs> Laugh, take shots, and know the whole entire time your intentions. And protected and guarded by angels at all at the same time. All in this 3D body. People wearing masks. I amassed them really quick because it's important I know who's in my circle, who's in my energy, and it should be important for you to know who's in your circle, who's in your energy. So, I mean, if you want to embody negative energy, by all means, if you love, if you like it, I love it. If you like it, I love it because that's going to be your negative karma. It'll be your heartbreak. It'll be your self-sabotage. It'll be like, I'm so tired of this. It'll be your same sad, pitiful, low vibrational karmic story that you continue to keep telling yourself over and over and over and over and over and over and over until you're tired of telling yourself that story over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Look in the mirror one day and you don't have fear no more. You, you evicted fear out of your life. You look in the mirror one day and you don't have doubt no more because you evicted doubt out of your life. You look in the mirror and you don't have pride no more. And you evicted pride out of your life. And when you evict all three of those out of your life, you have a life. When you evict pride, doubt, and fear out of your life, you now have a life. Welcome to life. I don't care how old you are, it'll be your first day of living. And on that note, guys, I'm tricking. I gave you the recipe. You can use it, don't use it. Or you can just watch me continue to excel on the recipe that I gave you free, then ask you to subscribe, then ask you to hit a like button, because I don't need any of that from you guys. 
I'll grow regardless if you like my great, amazing content or not. I know I fight demonic demons. I know God's behind my page. It's where it at. It's where it's at because it's all in divine timing. And he knows that I understand the game. So it means nothing to me. I'm going to reach those that were ready for a change will get this message today or whenever they hear it. When they're ready, they'll hear it and not just hear it. In the Bible, he says, those are people that are hearers, but they're never doer of the word. They just like to hear it. <laughs> it's like going to church because I like the way they sing, but it ain't really doing nothing. <laughs> He's like, no, you, you, you gotta, you, it's like manifesting. You got to speak it and believe it. You got to be a hearer and a doer. You got to believe if you speak it, it's going to happen. You got to believe if you think it's going to happen. You got to get rid of fear, pride, and doubt. Those three things are stopping you. Those three things are sabotaging you. Those three things are, are they're going to either bury you with, hmm? or you can work on to get rid of and live an amazing life. Be the best version of you to your kids. Be the best version of you to your spouse. Be the best version of you to, to any stranger or to anybody that is in your circle or in your vicinity. They'll feel the sun rays. They'll feel the good vibes, the high energy. That I know this is the real one. I can trust this person. You can tell they're not. I haven't even met no one like this because the energy is so different. You may not even know what it is. You just know that person's so different. Like, what the heck? Exactly. So, hey, guys, get rid of those three culprits because some way, form, or fashion, every day, we're putting on all three of those energies or one out of the three or two out of the three. Or hey, three out of three. And it's not serving us. It just isn't. And on that note, you guys are all amazing. I'm Trickett. Thank you for your love and support. And until next time, guys. <laughs> Fly high. Walk in that high energy. You know what I'm saying? So you can attract good things to you. And, um keep that frequency always always on high and you'll do well I promise you because high energy and walking in a high frequency you know what that is that's love that's what people in the religious world would call love what God would call love in the Bible that's love because high frequency and high energy will always have you treating people right, doing people right, talking to people right. And if you're energetically connected, you will not disrespect each other because you're both high vibing and high vibe and high vibes, high vibing and high energy. All it is and what it equals out to be is love. Peace out.